hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to see the decorators in python so let's get started so what are decorators so basically decorators are the special functions in python which is able to take a function as a argument and returns a function okay so a decorator is also a function okay that takes another function as argument and returns a function okay now there is a certain way uh, you can think of it like a decorator is like a gift wrapper okay and our original the normal function is a plain gift okay so now the work of decorator is that decorator will wrap it to make it look special okay suppose if you are gifting a gift so you have normally the box of it now if you have to gift it you will do what you will wrap that gift with the wrap papers okay and then you will gift it so it will make it more special okay so that special thing the wrapping that adds an extra functionality to it okay and the gift inside okay the box it is the original function that does not change okay but it comes with something extra okay now how does it work suppose you have a normal function so you decorate it with a special function that is called as the decorator and then the decorator adds new behavior to the original function okay now let's take an example to see how does it happens okay so i'll just simply create a decorator and what is the definition of the decorator that it takes another function as argument so let's so i have taken a function as an argument then what does it performs it just add wraps it wraps the original function okay means the original function does not change something extra adds onto them okay so i'll create a wrapper function okay now this wrapper function will do what it will wrap our original function okay so suppose if this is my original function so i have to wrap it so how i'll wrap it i'll do something before the function call and i'll do something after the function call so suppose i'll print here uh, suppose i have to make a transaction so transaction initiated okay then after the function has been called means whatever the process has been followed then i'll give a message that transaction completed okay and now i'll return my wrapper now so this is the decorator we have created the decorator we have wrapped our original function now what is the function what are what is the thing which we want to do because function has nothing okay it is an argument and we are just calling it so now we will create the proper function in which we want to perform something so suppose uh, i'm creating a random function uh, which will which has some process okay suppose which has some process in it okay so now i'll call this ran function okay so how i'm going to call it i can do what i can just create one ran one okay in this ran one uh i will call the decorators okay and now the decorators take a function as a parameter so i'll give a ran over here okay and now i'll just execute the ran one okay so now you will see process is there but before process transaction initiated okay which we have wrapped then this process is there and then transaction completed okay so this is how decorator works it just wraps the original function and it does not change the original function it just adds some more functionality to it okay just before the function call and after the function call okay so there is one more example uh let me import time okay and i'll take this example okay but in this place instead of this i'll just write uh start time dot time and here i'll do end time dot time 
then I'll print a message and minus start okay we are returning the wrapper now it's time for creating the uh, def i'll create a function for multiply this will be my original function okay and in this i'll just put int input enter num1 num2 okay now let's just call it so mul1 equals to decorators mul and now mul1 okay so two three okay so multiply is six and total execution time taken is 2.7890 seconds okay so this is how what we did we just put first the start time then the end time then we just subtracted from the end time the start time we return the wrapper we put our original function okay and this way we just call it so is it necessary that we have to always create a variable and then call the decorator okay no it's not necessary there is one more way what we can do at the rate decorators we can call the decorators like this okay we are mentioning that this is the decorator the decorator function has been called there and now whatever the function will call here okay you have to put it over here okay now whatever the function will call suppose this is the decorator so now this is this mul is the parameter passed to it okay now we have to just directly call the mul so 4 into 4 okay so 16 2.33 so this is also one another way you can call the decorators you have to just use the at the rate and then you have to write the decorator function name decorators and then whatever the function you will put in the next line that will be taken as the function parameter okay that will be taken as the argument okay and then you can just execute with this function name means you can directly call with this function name so the decorator means the extra thing will be also added okay so that's how you can execute decorators in python so i hope you like this video thanks for watching the video we'll see you in the next video